In this video we'll learn about finite state machines. This is for computer science A level. A finite state machine can be in one of a finite number of states at any moment in time. So what finite means is countable. And that's a key word there, finite, countable. If you think of infinite, which means infinity, so endless, whereas finite is countable. A finite state machine moves from one state to another based on input. So basically you can have a number of different states, a ready state, an end state, and you can have a state where something has happened in the middle. Finite state machines may just take input, uh, some can produce outputs, so this is a different type of machine. Finite state machines often summarized as FSM. So really, in summary, it is any device that stores its current status and whose status can change as the result of an input. It's mainly used as a conceptual model for designing and describing systems. It needs memory to hold its current state and usually uses a logic device to determine what is the next state. Before we move on, you might want to pause and have a think of any devices or machines that you can think of being in a series of finite states. Okay, here you go. Here are the examples. These are typical finite state machines. Things like a lift. A lift can be in a state with the doors open on the ground floor or doors closed on the first floor or a state of moving between ground and first floor could be in a ready state with doors closed on the top floor we can think of a coffee machine a coffee machine may be in a ready state it may be in a state that has 10p inserted it could be in a, di a state of dispensing think of a vending machine car park ticket machine these are all classed as finite state machines they only have a set number of states this is in opposition to a personal computer in which its states are infinite depending upon the software, the task, the program so each of these machines that's listed here are examples of finite state it can just be in a countable number of states a very basic idea, maybe something like a ballpoint pen. This could be an example of a finite state machine. Uh, the states are the ballpoint is extended or the ballpoint is retracted. The input is basically clicking the pen's button. The output, it retracts or extends the ballpoint. These can be represented on something called an STD, a state transition diagram. Here is a state transition diagram for the ballpoint pen. There is a state, state 0, which represents the ballpoint retracted. Here is state 1, the ballpoint extended. The arrows represent the transitions between the states. And on the arrow includes the input. So in the case of this, the button is clicked and it moves from state 0 to state 1. We provide the same input and it moves back again. A state transition diagram is one way to represent it, but we could also use a state transition table. A table models the inputs and the current state and what the next state would be. So we can see here if the current state is the ballpoint retracted, we provide the input as button clicked, we end up in the next state as the ballpoint is extended. Think of an automatic door, works in the same way. Two states, the door's closed, the door's open. We might push a button and it takes us from each state to the next. Many of you might have locked up your bikes using a combination lock. Or there may be a combination lock on a door. If we think of a combination lock, we might start in a locked state. If we enter anything on the keyboard other than free, it stays locked. This is if the combination is 3, 2, 6, by the way. If we entered 3 first, we get into the first digit correct state. 
anything other than two next we remain in that state or in some cases I can imagine if it's this door lock above it will take us back into the lock state enter another digit correct and another digit correct and eventually we end up in the unlocked state this is a double circle this is something known as an accepting state this is a state that identifies that an input has been accepted just a task to complete now pause the video and create a state transition table for this diagram okay here is the state transition table you might want to check that against what you have produced it shows that input, the current state and the next state so if we was in the lock state and we provided the number 3 we went to first digit if we was in the lock state and provided anything but 3 we went stayed in locked so have a look at that and compare that to what you have done here is another fate finite state machine um, and a state transition diagram this shows five states conceptual model um, just numbered for each of the states and some letters that provide the input from state 0 if we provide the input of A we go to S1 if we're in S1 and we provide the input of A or C we go to state 4 if we provide B we go to state 2 if we're in state 2 if we provide provide the input of an A we go to state 4 B to state 1 C to state 3 let's think of accepted and non accepted to get into the accepting state state 3 what do we need one example could be if I provide the input B that would not be accepted if I provide the input of A followed by B followed by so we've got A, B, followed by C that is accepted something that's not accepted is what I was going to go through first I'm thinking if I provided B that takes me to state 4 what gets me out of state 4? nothing no matter what I put after a B I will always be in state 4 so therefore it is not accepted so I could provide a B followed by A, followed by C followed by B, followed by A none of them are accepted to get into the accepted state I must start with A, B, C I could have A, B, C and any number of C's as soon as I get another letter after that that takes me into the unaccepted state again have a look give a further two examples of words we class these as a word that are accepted and not accepted pause the video now okay now you've had a go at that I'd also like you to come up with a state transition table for that as well pause the video now one last type of finite state machine this is something that would not be on the year one AS exam paper but is in year two and would come on the full A level this is a finite state machine with output the output is represented after a comma so the input is provided with the first character before the comma and the output after for example we start at this state if you provide the input of a one the output would be B that would take us to state 1 we could then provide the output of O and that would give an output of A and take us back to state 0 one last task have a go at these two sequences to work out what the output is and that is your lesson on finite state machines